Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David and we're gonna mix things up today. We're gonna do a survival slingshot showdown. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at four of the top survival sling bow slingshots. So I've got three friends. I can call you guys friends, right? We were until today, we'll see. <laughs> My name is Ahin. My name is Todd. I'm Joe. I'm actually a doctor. I'm a safety slash continuous improvement coordinator. I'm a sales account manager. I wouldn't call myself an expert. Never slung anything from a slingshot. I've been hunting and shooting since I was probably 10 or 12 years old. Probably got a couple years with a slingshot as a kid. I'm pretty sure that Dave brought me out here as comic relief since he knows I've never shot any of these. I'm excited to learn how to use these because I never have. I think that's probably the coolest part other than hanging out with some good guys and uh, getting free coffee. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a short introduction to each one of these sling bows, give you some tips on shooting it, and uh, we're gonna go through each one. We're gonna look at accuracy, we're gonna look at ease of use, portability, the cost, and the general overall durability of each slingshot. You guys are gonna get some range time with each one with shot and then arrows, and at the end, the four of us are gonna vote for the best marksman with these. And the best marksman gets to use my Henry AR-7 to blow up a pumpkin. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how things are gonna roll. I've got four slingshots here. Dave Canterbury, you guys might know him from Dual Survival. We've got his latest. We have the Pocket Predator Sear slingshot. And we've got the Survival slingshot. This is like the Goliath of slingshots. And we've got Chief AJ Slingbow. I'm not gonna say too much about it, except that he did get a grizzly with this last year. We've got your evaluation sheets, and we'll get started with the first Slingbow. Now let's start with Dave Canterbury's Pocket Hunter. The Pocket Hunter is based off of a Marksman folding slingshot platform with a few twists. Comes with this removable arrow guide and a pretty unique leather pouch with paracord that's designed to hold the arrow in place. The Pocket Hunter comes standard with tube bands that have about a 30 pound draw weight. And the Slingbow runs about $29 alone and up to about $100 depending on the accessories or arrows you purchase with it. Okay, now to shoot 38 caliber shot, we've got to remove the arrow guide. We do this by loosening the screw behind the guide, and then the two halves of this guide can be separated. Okay, now next we need to remove the paracord. And now we're ready to shoot. Now to shoot shot, hold the pocket hunter like this, place the shot in the center of the pouch, holding it in place and leaving a small opening towards the front of the pouch. Now although there are different shooting styles, one of the easiest ways to get on target to turn the slingshot sideways, aligning the top and bottom bands while pulling the band back the same way each time. Aligning the bands eliminates a lot of side-to-side -side variables, so all you need to do is concentrate on adjusting the elevation of each shot. Now with the band fully extended, look down your top band using the yoke end to sight in the slingshot. Now all you have to do is adjust your aim until you find the target. We've got 1,500 rounds a shot here. If you guys shoot them all up, that's fine. I doubt that you will. We're just gonna do it. Just because he, he bought it. It's his <laughs> shot. That's exactly right. Is that the wire or was that the disc? It's the wire. Just move up to here. That's still uh, 15 feet. There you go. Okay, so I changed where I was aiming. Change your aim point. That's yeah. good. High and to the left. Your, your form is generally pretty good. Good. So high. All right, who's next? Go ahead. Right, guys. You probably shot a slingshot like this, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It'll take you a couple minutes. Nice. Nice. 30 feet's about the maximum effective range of any slingshot. Nice, that was close. I 
You're consistently actually shooting the same, the same place. So go ahead and make that adjustment, just like when you're shooting your handgun. There you go. So watching you guys as you did the slingshot portion, you guys did good in, in a limited number of shots. All of you guys were shooting consistently at the same spot. I think just a little bit of adjustments as we go through the slingshots and uh, you're gonna be golden. Okay, now let's shoot some arrows. Since the Pathfinder school offers three-piece takedown arrows, we'll use them with this sling bow. So after we reinstall the arrow guide in Paracord, place the arrow in the guide and hold the arrow shaft with your index finger as you snap the arrow knock onto the center of the paracord like this. Now pull back slowly on the paracord to tighten up the pouch around the knock and hold the arrow in place. Now it's time to take aim. Arrow Guide has marks for left, right, and straight on shooting of the arrow. So how you shoot kind of depends on your own style. Pull the paracord back with a finger in a loop. You can also try pulling the arrow back using the paracord nut. Sight down the arrow until you're on target. Let your arrow fly. So clip that on. And it's a little bit tricky. You almost have to hold that with your finger. It's not something you're gonna do fast in the field, that's for sure. Nice. Did it pull apart? Yes, it did. I actually already sent one back. It's a little bit tricky to get those in there. Yep. Is that supposed to happen? There's a lot of play in the arrow holder. Okay. It's not your fault. I'm sure other people have experienced what you're experiencing. That was good. Good. Red, red, red. It's got, it's coming out straight. That's very good. Decent velocity. Yeah. Premature release there. <laughs> <It did. laughs> nice. Very nice. I have no suggestions for you. You're doing fine. But seriously, I have a high degree of confidence in you based on your last two shots. Oh! oh! You're at 40 feet now. That's a beautiful shot. Nice shot. So what'd you guys think? I just used the pocket hunter with the arrow and I found it easier to sight in because I ran down the shaft of the arrow and I could tell if I was wavering. I also listened to Todd about bringing the pouch all the way back to the right side of my face, the same place every time. And I think that increased the accuracy a lot. I think if I had done that with the shot, it would have gone better. It was a little awkward getting the arrow into the paracord and making sure it was secure. But overall, I really enjoyed shooting the arrow with that. And I think that's something I could definitely use. It was difficult getting the arrow on the paracord, but once I got used to it, I think it was good. I felt more comfortable shooting an arrow through it than actual shots through it. I thought. Putting the arrow on was a little cumbersome. Having been an archery hunter for 20 years, it seemed a little hard to do. Once I figured out how to hold the bow, it was much faster for me to do it. Accuracy seemed pretty good. Velocity seemed pretty good. I don't know if you could take down something as big as a deer with it, but you possibly could. Depends on your strength level. But uh, overall, it seemed, seemed pretty good. I think Joe's probably going to start talking a little bit of trash here for long. <laughs> 
Although Joe has limited experience with slingshots, he's analytical, curious, and he learns quick. Plus, he's very competitive, which should help him, at least today. I think with a few tweaks to his form, he's going to be hard to beat. Now, Todd came in pretty confident, and that hurt him in the early stages. He's been on target a few times, but really needs to work on his form to get consistent shots on the mark. But Todd's been shooting his whole life, so I expect him to adapt and bounce back pretty quick. A hen has never used a slingshot before today, so he had a rough start, but he asked for a lot of help and improved quickly. One of his problems is that he draws the slingshot like he draws his pistol, and that hurt him, especially with the sling bow. But if he continues to learn and grow, it could be the real surprise of the day. Next time on Survival Sling Bow Wars. So now we're gonna take a look at the Pocket Predator Sear. It's kind of a trade-off. Liked it a lot better for shock. That's one thing with the sling bows, you do need longer arrows. This was pretty good, but I'm not sure about that 